The price and I will go. I realized that they have been cheating me. So I'm not doing that again. No. Huh? I don't film you. I okay. Yeah. He said I should film him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, see, they are cleaning those places. So guys, I'm going to ham the line. I say the milk. Yeah, for those who want to travel to Mali and wants to know what's up regarding the economy, the cost of living, the state of governance and security, kindly stick around to the end of this video for an interesting, interesting conversation. Oh yeah, let's go. Yeah, surely energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but it can only be transformed from one state to another. If you know, you know, those fake riders cannot destroy my energy, you guys. So that beautiful edifice you see there right now is called the Bank Bissau. About 80 meters tall, the Bissau Tower is the tallest in West Africa with about 20 stories in all. Bissau simply meaning the central bank of West African states. African states meaning the French colonies in Africa. The French colonies in Africa are divided into two. We have the central African colonies and the West African colonies. In this particular context, we are talking about the French colonies that spent the safer. So in West Africa, we have eight countries that are spending the safer right now. Mali being inclusive, we have Togo, we have Burkina Faso, we have Benin, we have Ivory Coast, Guinea Bissau, Senegal, and Niger. And Central Africa consists of six countries, making 14 countries in total that spends the safer. There is an advantage to this. Although their currency is not as far with the dollar or the euro, it is much more stronger than other West African countries, for example, Ghana and Nigeria. But come to think of it, how can we be in our own country, right? And someone else is controlling the currency that we spend. If you are spending safer, that means you do not have a central bank of your own. The base how is your central bank, which is directly controlled by the French government in France, Paris. So guys, leave a comment and let me know, would you allow someone else to take control of your bank account? Would you be around and give a power of attorney to someone else to be controlling your accounts whilst you are still around? And then you need to be asking permission from that person anytime you need to run transactions on your account. Does it really make sense? Whilst there's nothing wrong with you, drop a comment and let me know. So yeah, these are some of the beautiful spots here in Mali. What you see right now is the Corris Bank, one of the biggest in Mali. You can see how the streets are looking beautiful. That I'm pointing to right now is something like their conference center. They always have exhibitions going on their conferences meetings and whatnot and inside there looks extremely beautiful there are lots of decorative plants there trees giving the place shades and here you can see these are lots of flowers you know in Bamako a lot of people deal in horticulture planting and uh, nurturing flowers for sale. Yeah, this is the administrative city here in Bamako. Guys, I bet you the architecture of these buildings is something else. It is purely African, West African. It is nothing of the West. And that is where most of their ministerial and public offices are located. Like how we have ministries in Ghana. Very beautiful place. I won't even lie to you. And lest I forget, that is the monument of the eagle in the Malian flag. Yeah, this very one. If you're new here, I'm coming at you straight from Mali, Bamako, currently in Hamdalai. So you guys all, welcome to Mali, the cradle of civilization and the land of one people, one faith and one goal. Miro, show us nice places. Show us nice places. So 
I'm trying my best to show you nice places. Okay, so one of the nicest places here is called Hamdalai. So I want to be taking you there. And look at the spot I am right now. I'm around the monument called the place of Mamadou. Yeah, that's the roundabout here. So that is it with the elephants on it. And you can also see we have a bank ahead of us which is called the BCI Mali SA. Oh my goodness. Alright, so basically, if you don't know, Mamadou Konate was a Malian politician. He served in the French National Assembly from 1946 to 1956. Okay, in Bamako, they even have a stadium that is named after him, like the Mamadou Konate Stadium right here in Bamako. So if you know where that stadium is, kindly drop a comment and let me know, okay? You can see how hot the sun is. Today I forgot my spectacles, so I have to cover my face with my hoodie. Jesus, the sun is something else here. Definitely, this is the hottest climate I have ever been in. This is nothing compared to Ghana's sports weather. And sunscreens and sunglasses are necessity because it is droughty and windy to the extent that if you're not in your sunglasses and the winds come, you may temporarily go blind because it sweeps every dust directly into your eyes in the moment. So yeah, you always need to protect yourself. In Mali, they have a lot of monuments, a lot of historical monuments. This is the monument of Mamadou Konate, right here in Hamdalai. You can see the elephants right there. That is a bank, and the other side is a university. Guys, so like I said, stick around to the end of this video if you want to know the current situation wow. here in Mali. You know, Mali is beautiful. Like, me, I like their roads. Their, bonsoir. their roads are always, like, very good. That's the University of Aptek Mali. It's a private university. Okay. They told me that Cam de Lai is one of the nicest places here in Mali, so I just want to be taking you there. And yeah, I was asking the last time if they have something like a shop right here. And they said it is in Badalabugu. So I'll try and take you there as well. Here, no matter what, whether it is the nicest place ever, you still find a lot of motorbikes because of uh, traffic in town a lot of people resort to the bike do you get and most of them to no matter what their class every almost everyone in Mali can ride a bike and almost all of them own a bike no matter what their class is guys I forgot my spectacles and the sun is worrying me, so I'm gonna be getting a cheap one. A cheap one here. I don't know which one to get. Hello. This one. How much? Come here. Come here. Come here is what? Aburu. Aburu now. Come here is what? Salad. Come here is what? It's not serious. It's not serious. Saint Saint. This side. Mil Fra. Mil Fra. Saint Saint. Saint Yeah, I want a cheap one, you guys. Yeah, let me see this one. Hold. Hey, it's white. It's It's too white. Oh, this Guys, what do you think? Is this one okay? Say bien. Eh? Eh? Thank you, Ramesh. Malian, Malian. Malian. Yes, Malian born in Ghana. 
Yes. <laughs> Guys, let me finish buying and get back to you. I don't know if this one is okay, but let me just finish it. Uh, finally, this is what I'm thinking. Mercy. Guys, you can see the policemen are there. Me, I'm putting off. I'm putting off my camera. That's the point. They don't joke. Oh. Eh? Let me not joke at all. Let me put off the camera. I will get back to you. that you can find these things in the city this is the nicest part of Bamako but you can find this thing there Christ me look at that this is a workplace I guess one of the nicest places hey because I don't know this area I should be walking somewhere that is not enclosed right but you guys let's go Downtown I say Damien. Guess these are full of offices. Only offices here. Okay, let's go this way. The right is always the best. This place is so quiet. That is a big step from a different way. Malian style. In the workplace. Those places are work, work places. Okay. There's a construction going on here. That's why it has been covered. So, welcome to the nicest place in Bamako. Hamdalai. It's so quiet. I say, Demi, Hamdalai. This is a school crutch for children. Wow. You can see how beautiful it is. It's so nice. I hope it's not a security zone. What's that? Savavie. Wow. Wow. This place is beautiful, majestic palace. Wow. What's that? Savavie. Asayi Yes guys, this is Handelai Asayi Mule. And guys, if you want to know what's up concerning the cost of living, the economy, and how the new government is fending in Mali, can you stick around till the end of this video for an interesting, interesting conversation. I'm looking for a restaurant. This is the same place I came to the last time. And they were describing it to me in a different way. So I thought it's a different place, but I've been here already. Let's just go and get some food. I spotted a restaurant around here, so let's just go there and get some food. Taxi? No. Senepa Lue. Merci. Let's go and get some food. I just want to be showing you around. So, this is the interesting Masali Hotel. Wow. Oh, Shay. So, welcome to Ham the Life at Seide Mill. This side is just offices, banks. And hotels. They said it's the nicest place. The roads are good, and uh, the landscaping is good. But uh, 
except for the everything else is so cool the people are good yeah I spotted a nice place here so come along with me bien 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 let's go and try that place and see I don't know what they have there maybe we can get a drink this is the place this is a little place but I guess a lot of cars park here and uh, they come to here oh it's a bar it's not for food you don't have food wow it's a nice place I don't know if they have food Something like this? Yeah, there is this one. Mm -hmm. Something like this. I want this one with fish That's it. and pepper. Yeah, there's a pepper. Trust me. There's mm -hmm. a pepper, but I'm not. The I'm camera not is on me. Uh, it's on me. Yes. I'm not a big fan of this fish. Uh -huh. uh, the fish is good, it may be good, but I'm not. Are you from Mali? Um, no, no. My, grandf my grandfather is from Mali. Okay. And my, my mom, she's West Indies. Your mom is what? West Indies. West Indies. Yeah. West it's basically it's a new island. Ah, okay. Which, I you speak see. French. And you speak Bambara? No. Uh, uh, my ethnic is uh, what they call Pula. 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 Yeah. Uh huh. But I, I just, it's my first time in, in Mali. In Mali. Me too. So I'm, hey, I'm learning. Like I'm, I'm, so I'm learning the language. Okay, that's so, fine. So you want this one, yeah? Yeah, that one is better. Yeah. I prefer this one. Ever on plat de riz comme ça mm -hmm. avec le poisson? Give they me they water only have, first. Yeah, they only have big bottles of water. No problem. Give me one. This place is nice, Ghana. From Ghana. Yeah. You're from Jamaica. No. Did you say Jamaica? No. Ah. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the food I caught. Uh, jollof rice. Malians also do jollof, like Ghana. <laughs> it's really good. It's finger licking delicious. I'll get back to you when I'm done eating. Okay? The man I was talking to when I came he was the only person who could speak English, right? And I was asking him whether he's been to Ghana. He said he has been to Ghana. He loved the people and the country. He was eating jollof and I was asking him, like, Ghanaian jollof and Malia jollof, which one would he choose? And he was like, he can't really tell. He, he didn't pay attention but this one to really tastes good he can't even remember whether he has tasted jollof in Ghana I also asked him what he thinks about Mali the economy and the new governors and everything and he didn't want to be on camera so that was why I didn't capture him people's privacy has to be respected if 
he says he doesn't want I shouldn't have to film him yeah so I did not film him but he said this government is in the right direction and it was like Mali Burkina Faso and Niger they are completely free even if not completely almost completely free from the Western world although things are difficult now especially in Mali now due to that they don't always have regular lighting like electricity is always on and off you always have some load shedding but it will be okay it's just for the moment the government is really working in the right direction right now people are complaining because um, it was like Africans love free money. They complain because now this government doesn't just throw money about like the civilian government. Do you get it? That's what he said. These are not my words. These are not my words. The words of him that I came to meet who doesn't want to be on camera. And he said even he, the president, president one of his family members has been jailed these are not my words these are the words of the person i met he does not care who you are if you are wrong you are wrong you have to be punished for it <coughs> so yeah and he talked about the mirror concessions that he has recently signed uh, in 2023 they signed it up to 30 percent for mali and the rest for uh the partner but now it has been risen to 37 percent that i do not really know i have to read but he said it they are raising the percentage bit by bit in favor of mali and i was like that was exactly what Gaddafi did Gaddafi said i have all the minerals all the minerals in this country that you need i have all the oil that you need i have the oil you have the machine give me this percentage and take this percentage if you wouldn't provide us the machine but you want to use your give us this percentage and if they say no he says no then let me keep my oil that was what he did and he was able to develop libya to the extent that everybody wants to visit Lydia everybody wanted to go to Lydia Libya I say Lydia Libya and work do you understand that is the way to go we just have to be bold enough to stand on our feet and and voice out what we want the country is for us the continent is for us we are the owners we are the owners so we have to make our own decisions if they decide for us and it is not in our favor we are not obliged to accept it except we are selfish we are thinking about pulling ourselves then we accept so yeah i agree with him in several ways right me personally i feel like this government is in the right direction i just feel like it's high time africa we are able to decide for ourselves when you are bringing a contract to us we also have to benefit right you don't come and give us 13 percent and take 87 percent what the heck like what what is that no no, and even the 37 percent that Mali is taking from its minerals, I feel like it's not enough. They should raise it. But he said, petit da petit, step by step. A journey of a thousand miles starts with a step. So step by step, it was 30. Now it's 37. So I'm just only hoping for the best for the Malian people. Yeah, and the whole Africa as well. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy that it's going in this direction. In 2015, when the civilian government was ruling, that was what the man said, even in Bamako here, it wasn't as safe as it is right now. The terrorists could come here and kill people, destroy people's lives. But in two years, in two or three years as this government has come, he's been able to sack them all. 
they have all invaded the north and Bamako as well. So, yeah, although they are complaining of the cost of living, their security is getting more assured, right? So, I'm happy for the government. <coughs> so far, if you like the video, kindly give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So, this is where I am. Beautiful place, it's a homely place and uh, the place is moved with tags with a lot of greenery you can see around the trees everything yeah um come here okay so so far this is how the place looks it's a beautiful place as you can see full of trees and roofed with thatch it's giving a natural ambience. The food too feels like a home cho. If you know what is home cho, can you drop a comment? It feels home cho. It feels like a home food, right? Although uh, that's not the kind of food I want to eat, but <coughs> Mali is about rice and dough, so that is it. Yeah, every now and then you get people working in here to sell their goods to you. You can see someone selling some spectacles walking in. Some people who came selling other stuff. Yeah, they just enter to show whatever they are selling. So you if you are interested, you buy. I just got a cheap one for myself because I forgot my medicated <coughs> lenses home. Yeah. So I really love it here. It feels so relaxing. <laughs> I'm even feeling like I'm gonna be sitting here for a while, but no, I can't do that. It's getting dark, so I just needed to get up and go home. The man I met here was really cool. Yeah, he doesn't want to be on camera, but he's an interesting person. They said I should come and sit by them. You love to be on camera? No. No, I'm okay. One year. I ate rice, I drank water, okay. my stomach is okay. my stomach is full. Oh this place is very nice. Bye. Natural ambience. The trees and the roofing. What is the name of this place? You don't know. Ah. This is today your first time here. Are you Malay? Ah, you are from Senegal. <laughs> How long have you been here? How long have you been here? I'm You only have me now. Only English. My boss? No, I'm not the boss. No. Oh, that's my small brother. Your small brother? Ah. Bala. Bala. Ah. So how is Mali? He sells. Right. He sells bags. Right. Oh, okay. At where? Here. Oh, Mashi. Mashi. I'm saying that how is money? How is money? Ah. Oh, why not the one who called me? My bell. Eh. Ghana. Eh, but I do good mana. Never a Ghana. Never a Ghana. Never Have you been to Ghana before? Huh? You've been to Ghana? But you've been to Senegal? Oh. And I'm saying, how long have you been in Mali? Mali, you stay here in Seloy? Yes. Mali is good? Yeah? Yeah, Mali? You see me? I'm good. You are good? This place is called what? Subwa. It's a nice place. I live in the cozy environment. Yeah, I love it because of the trees. Subwa. Uh -huh. <laughs> they say this place is called Subwa. It's in Hamdulai. I say they meal. Yeah, they have a bowl. I forgot. You know how Malians eat. They put their food in a big bowl that everybody dishes in. So, I hope you guys enjoy my video. If you do, kindly give a leave a comment down there below i'm gonna be ending the video here and 
go home because it's getting late it's five o'clock so i need to go home you can see that place they have roofed it with a touch touch roof and it's so green and beautiful okay so this is how this place looks so beautiful i don't know if there's a way here but i'm just ending it here that is it for me today i see you some other time Oh my goodness, I haven't told you guys. Eh? Today's food is the most expensive I've eaten in Mali. Look at that place. It's the most expensive I've eaten in Mali. 2,500. And even that one is a restaurant. Man, food in Mali is cheap. Food in Mali is so freaking cheap.